Hello everyone, today I would like to speak about breastfeeding and breastfeeding tips and advice I have for you. If you're going to breastfeed uh, fully, like all night, and you're not going to have your partner helping you and you just decide to uh, exclusively breastfeed yourself, I would suggest having a um, basket with all the stuff that you need in. Um, it can literally be like even a box, a little box, a little container or something next to you or even in your bedside table you can uh, do one of the compartments or you know um, on top of the bedside table have all your breastfeeding stuff that you need. Um, I liked to get myself an organizing basket which had different departments in and to put all my breastfeeding stuff in there. Uh, I had my water bottle um, I bought a big 2 litre one because you need to stay hydrated and you need to remember to produce milk, especially in the first couple of weeks. Your body's going to need liquids, your body's going to need food. Uh, so they are the main, main things to remember. So I had my 2 litre bottle and I also had all my snacks in this, uh, this basket. Um, Apart from that, I also had muslins because the baby needed to be burped, um, she was spitting up as well, so you know, if you, um, if you can have muslins in, in, muslins in there, they will, uh, they will be a lifesaver. The ones I have uh, are the, one, the big ones, um, I also have the uh, small square ones, but I used to use them ones just to wipe her face if I didn't have a big one. Uh, the big ones are nice because you can put them over your shoulder and burp your baby and then if they spit up or anything it goes onto the muslin. Apart from that I would also put uh, my breast pump because I would use it in the morning. Uh, that was after the two, three weeks I think, uh, two, three weeks mark when they tell you you can actually start pumping. When, you're, when you think your, your milk supply has, uh, you know, settled um, once it's been established anyway so have your pump in there if you're pumping in the morning when you wake up um, it's easy because if I had one breast with a baby then the breast I will be pumping from um, so I had my nine my, my pump ready and nice to go um, it was just there and then apart from that I would also keep uh, nipple shields in there so the nipple shields are very important because in the first couple of weeks your nipples are gonna be needing it your nipples are gonna be uh, very sore they're gonna be getting used to the um, you know baby sucking on them and even speaking to second or third time moms they still said they needed them because even though you have breastfed before your, your body's not it's not used to that anymore so your, your nipples need to go back into it and for the, the first couple of weeks or even the first couple of days I think having nipple shields if it, it, it was a big help um, you know it, it, it's nice to have it especially if you have problems with uh, cracked nipples or bleeding or any sort of problems that the, the shields really help you so I did use them only for a couple of days but they were very useful because I was I was hurting a lot so if you can get nipple shields they, they are useful and they don't cost much at all uh, and apart from the nipple shields, I would also recommend having a nipple cream in your basket and every time the baby end, uh, finished a uh, feeding session, I always put my nipple cream on because you really need it, like it keeps, you, it keeps your nipples hydrated, it gives them, you know, it helps them heal and it keeps them, um, I don't know, soft for the next feeding, they, you know, the skin and stuff have to, have to, has to get used to it, so um, it's, it's very nice, it's very nice to put a cream on, it's very soothing and, and it can really help. One important one that I was about to forget is uh, nursing pads, so, or breastfeeding pads or whatever you want to call them. They are so, so useful in, you know, in the first couple of weeks especially because your milk supply is all over the place and you could, at night especially, I remember waking up and I was soaked. I was my bra was soaked, my t-shirt was soaked, the bed, everything, like it was just covered in milk, everything. I was leaking so much. Even now that my milk supply has been established, I still use breast pads. At night I used to put two on because I was I was leaking so much. So they definitely help you and they will avoid you waking up during the night and being soaked. If you want to avoid having to get up again, I would just keep another bra, another nursing bra in your uh, breastfeeding basket so in case you get soaked uh, it's not a nice feeling to have a wet bra on so you, you have the new one ready to go next to you 
and remember night light I know this is not breastfeeding a must have but a night light uh, to be able to you know pick up all the stuff from the basket and stuff really helped me because otherwise I would have to go on my phone and it wasn't ideal or turn on the big lamp and that would make a lot more light and the baby would probably wake up so uh, a night light it's what actually saved me as well during those breastfeeding nights um, next tip is as I kind of already said before, um, don't start pumping straight away um, unless you're planning on exclusive plum pumping in, in which case, you know, um, it's a completely different subject but I'm talking about exclusively breastfeeding mums they also want to have a free um, a freezer milk supply so like, um, I pumped uh, in the morning, every morning because I wanted to build up that um, secure stash in the fridge in case I couldn't breastfeed anymore, in case I needed my partner to do it, something happened to me and like I was stuck away somewhere, then you know there was milk for my baby ready to go in the freezer, freezer and fridge. I went with a hacker, uh, which is this collecting pump. It's not it's not really a pump, it's a suction, it's a suction pump that you put on your breast. Um, I'm pretty sure you heard of it or you saw it somewhere and a lot of women recommend it and it's so so good for you uh, if in the first weeks and later on as well if you don't want to invest in a pump if you don't want that much milk to you know if you don't need that much milk for your baby and you just want to collect your leftovers let's say um, then a hacker helps you so much because I knew I needed to put milk away but I couldn't pump because I wanted to respect the fact that I didn't want to build uh, too much of a milk supply for my breasts, so, like I didn't want to uh, get my body to understand that it needed an oversupply. So instead of pumping, which would probably tell my body, you know, you need to produce more milk and then get me engorged and get me problems, I just decided to collect the milk. So when my baby was feeding on one breast, I would have the hacker pump on the other breast. It would literally suck on and have this suction. Uh, power would attach to your breast and you would collect the milk while the baby is on the other breast so you you're literally just collecting milk without doing anything and you're not asking your body for more this is just literally what your body would have produced anyway and then you know you're, you're probably gonna only have a little bit at a time I remember I was only making um, probably 20-30 ml which is literally this much um, to start with and I was putting it all in um, I was putting it all in uh, all the bags and then I was putting them in the freezer to collect the milk um, but you know you can you can do that or you can wait, wait to pump after two weeks or three weeks or whatever your advice from your doctor is I waited uh, but I used the hacker to collect the milk so then I could build a little bit of a supply for the hours that I was going to be away for the, the weeks after and that's another bit of advice I have for you guys. If you are living in a house all by yourself and your baby is staying with someone else, remember to bring a pump or a suction pump or whatever you have to collect your milk or to get rid of the milk. Because honestly, I went out by myself and I forgot that you know I could get engorged or I could leak everywhere. So I had my breast pads on and everything, but I was hurting so much. Only after a couple of hours, my milk supply was still all, all, all over the place and I was I was so engorged, I could feel it, like it was hurting so bad. I had to go to the bathroom and I had to um, disembarrass it. I literally had to stand over the sink and I had to ex hand express the milk in the sink because I needed to get rid of it because it was hurting my breasts so much. So I had to get rid of it in the sink and I had to do it by hand expressing and it, it took me ages and the milk was just everywhere at that point. So if you can go out, I then got to the manual pump because I wanted to take it with me when I was going out. So if I, I had it in, in a bag and I would just take it and if I was away from the baby and I needed it, I knew I could quickly pump. I didn't sterilize it or anything because most likely like I wasn't going to be able to keep the milk because I was out for so long. But, you know, I'll just quickly pump it without sterilizing anything, just to get myself relief. So it wasn't, it wasn't to pump and keep the milk, it was literally to relieve my breasts, because it was hurting so much. So, just keep that one in mind. And then, last bit of advice is, remember to always have your uh, boppy pillow, if you can have one. That helped me so much, having a boppy. It's literally a pillow, or 
any breastfeeding pillow to be fair I had a boppy but you don't have to get that one you can get anything um, there's in the market there is a, a feeding pillow so it's basically a, a pillow that goes around your waist like this and you know around your belly just under your breast and you pop your baby on it and your baby's feeding and your arms are resting and it was so good because in the first couple of weeks I was so tired and my arms were tired and I just wanted to sit down and you know have had a relaxing time feeding my baby and I was probably watching TV or doing something else at the same time so having that boppy supporting my arms was great yeah that's it for now um, I can't think of anything else um, I think I only wrote these things down for now but I will definitely come up with more advice on breastfeeding and I will also tell you my breastfeeding journey and share more about all the tips and tricks that I have learned during this amazing journey so far it's been five months and we're still going I didn't think I was going to be able to breastfeed and here I am. So I look forward to um, seeing you in the next video and thank you for watching it so far. Um, and if you have and liked it, please leave a like or subscribe to my channel because I'm looking forward to uploading many more videos and sharing everything about my journey. Thank you very much. Bye.